Hey beauties and welcome to VLB Halloween 2017. Get ready for all the glam, creepy, and glittery fun we're about to have by subscribing and hitting that share button with your friends to show love. To kick off, I'll be creating this dark and cute voodoo doll makeup look. Step by step, let's do this. All right, so first you're gonna wanna create a barrier between your skin and the makeup so nothing gets into your pores by adding a primer on first. Block out those brows because we're not gonna be needing them today. We're gonna create a whole new shape. And for foundation, you're gonna wanna use something that is pretty high in coverage. Here I'm using about a medium coverage foundation and this is gonna give us a really poreless, flawless doll base, which is what we're really going for. So next I'm going to be powdering up the brows using the MAC Cosmetics White Face Powder, which I absolutely love. And we're going to be using this a lot throughout this look. Next I'm going to be going in with a medium bronzer just to warm up the skin and add some patchiness. I'm applying this to my face and also my body. So for brows, I'm going to be using a water activated paint to draw them in. And I blocked out the brows so I could really wing these up and arch them a lot. And this is going to give a really sinister, kind of creepy, spooky vibe to this doll. You could do any color you want, but the black really made them look very harsh. And for this style, I just wanted to do something that I like to do with a lot of my characters, and I wing the front of the brow out, and this just adds that signature touch that I like to add to my dolls and some of my characters. And here I'm just deepening up that color even further to make it really, really black. So now I'm going in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the lid and also the waterline and this is going to help really smoke out the eyes. So after I apply the base, I go in with a black shadow and I'm going to start to kind of wing this outwards and then upwards using a brown shadow. And I brought this really close to the brow because I wanted this to be really dramatic and very over exaggerated smoky eyes. And just blend 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 and I'm gonna be taking that same blending brush and bring this down the nose using these harsh shades is really going to help contour out this nose make it look a bit splotchy and very very thin and you really want that harsh harsh look so that's why we're using the black and the brown and as you create this look you can go in with your blending brush and blend where you need to and as you can see I'm doing that here you can really never blend enough so your blending brush is your tool so it really really helps with this look here I'm adding in some terrifying amounts of black glitter because you guys know I absolutely love it and I seriously cannot stay away from it. So I had to add it for this look. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to get these doll eyes. This is a really essential part of this look that you're gonna really, really need to do to signify that you're a doll. You want your waterline to be huge and white. So I'm going in and applying this exactly into the waterline and bringing it pretty far down. And now I'm gonna add in a black shadow just on an angled brush and I'm gonna press that right up against that white eyeliner and this is gonna create a new lower lash line and make our eyes look huge. Now I'm just gonna go in with a smaller brush and blend all of that out. And I'm bringing this downward to create some bags under the eyes. And I'm just being not really precise about this at all, I'm just kinda smudging it out and making it look really spooky and creepy under those eyes. Use your foundation brush to really blend things out as you go. Since it does have foundation, it really helps blend everything together. Next, I'm using a brown shadow to add underneath that black and just further creep this look out. So now I'm gonna go in with some more black shadow. And as I said before, as you're blending, you're gonna wanna touch up everything as you go because you're gonna lose that pigmentation and color payoff as you're blending these shades together. So here I'm just going in and touching everything up a little bit further. I chopped up some Cocoa Lashes in the style Amour and I applied them to that lower lash line that we created and these help fit perfectly by cutting them up. They just give a really nice custom fit and these are essential for doing a doll look. You really, really need the lower lashes. They really make the look complete so definitely don't skip out on them. Here I'm just adding some mascara and then some Wicked Lashes that I double stacked and I hung them off the edges of the eye to give a huge eye effect. For the face contour, I'm going in with a brown first and dipping back and forth between brown and black. And this is going to give somewhat of a vampire contour, which is something that I love to do for a lot of my looks. I start at the front of the ear area and bring it all the way down and curve it around the mouth going straight down the chin. This gives a really hollow, very thin vampire contour. And that's exactly what I'm doing here, just dipping back and forth between gray and brown. 
I'm going in with those same two shades and I'm going to go ahead and hollow out the deeper areas of my face and you can kind of feel around where these parts are. I just went around my nostrils, I went and contoured the nose, and then above the cupid's bow as well to give a really harsh definition to this look. And it's also going to make us look more creepy and the brown gives a more antique old fashioned feel to this doll. To blush up the cheeks, use an orange eyeshadow and really bring it up under the eyes. This is going to round out those cheeks. For the highlight, I'm using the MAC Cosmetics White Face Powder and I'm going on the jawline, the bridge of the nose, the chin, and also the cheekbones to add some light and really lift this doll's face up. For lips, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick which is really long lasting and it's going to be great for a Halloween party or anything like that. And this is one of my favorites, it's from Ofer Cosmetics in the shade Palm Beach. And I love this pink and I just avoided the corners of my lips to give this really cute pout. Now I'm going to go in and create these freckles on the face and I wanted them to look like they were painted on like a doll. So I'm just kind of stippling these around with a black eyeliner and I added a few extras on the bridge of the nose and also cascading over the cheeks. Here I'm going to show you all how to create the mouth stitches. So I'm first going in with a black water activated body paint and this is a technique that really works for me that I really like because it looks very three dimensional. I'm going to go in with a white water activated body paint next and create some crosses and slashes throughout the mouth on either side. And by adding in larger crosses to each corner of the mouth, this is going to make the lips look really pouty and really big. And that's why I added these right in that area, pretty large ones. And to shade them out, I'm going to be using a black eyeshadow. And this is going to give the look that the stitch is kind of hanging over onto the doll's face. And it's casting a bit of a shadow. I did decide to remove the cross over the mouth, that stitch, because I thought the lips were really cute and I wanted to show them off for this look. So next I'm going to start shading the body and I'm using a brown shadow first and just hollowing out my bone structure, my collarbones, and my shoulders to make myself look thinner and a lot more creepy. And I'm being pretty patchy with this because you want that old fashioned vintage look for this doll. And I'm just dipping back and forth between brown and also black. And you can also add a bit of this to the forehead as well just to further contour out this look. Here I'm adding in some stitches to the brows. I added a few more in just to give it kind of a sassy touch and because I wanted to add some more of these three dimensional stitches, I added just a single stitch on one of the brows and then shaded just like I did the mouth. And like I said before, go in and shade where you feel that you need to, and it's okay to add a little bit of extra shading for some more drama. Now I'm going to be adding in the stitches on the body. Because I wanted these to really show and my dress would be open around the neck, I did add these two stitch patterns by the neck area where the dress is open. And I made them about two times bigger than the ones on my face, so they're pretty proportionate with my body. And I just shaded them like I did before the stitches on the mouth, adding that black shadow underneath each additional stitch and shading as I see fit. So here I'm going to go in with the black shadow and really splotch up this body and make it look pretty dirty like a voodoo doll. And using a brown eyeshadow, I'm going to shade in between each stitch to add that cast of a shadow and just sort of deepen up the stitch itself. I'm going to add a bit of black shadow to the jawline just to sort of dirty up this look even further. I'm using a cream body paint in brown to match my chest and I'm applying this to my arms and you want to apply this everywhere where your skin is going to be showing in your costume and because a doll has a really fakey highlight that gives it the look of an actual doll, I'm going in and applying this to my shoulders, the collarbone and also my nose just to add some glow to this look. I'm next going in and adding in some additional stitch patterns. You can add as many or as little as you want depending on what costume you're wearing. And here I just added in two extra patterns because I wanted to really amp up this look. So I'm going to be popping on a wig and I wore this wig last Halloween for my steampunk tutorial and I absolutely loved it and I thought it would look great with this look. And I am so so in love with this wig. I love the front of it because it's blonde, grayish and it's super curly. I popped on my gloves and then of course you're going to want to add in your Halloween contacts, whatever color you're wearing, but I think that white looks best with this look. Alright beauties, that is the Voodoo Doll makeup tutorial. I hope you all loved the way this look turned out and if you did, be sure you like this video, subscribe, share with friends, and I'll see you all in my next Halloween tutorial. Peace out.